How's it going? Hope you're doing well. I know I need to grab the Fiskars and heck at this hair for sure. But one thing I want to start doing in the studio space here is kind of clean up this area. I got like you know, the books, the photo books, and I got a bunch of like printing materials and stuff that needs organized. But I want to condense this down to one shelf and have more of a YouTube kind of a setup over here for making videos. I have tables and stuff, but I need to have a little bit of a filming station is probably a better way to say it. But today, I want to talk about this wide angle lens. It's literally $19.50 on Amazon right now. It's, um, but it does attach to the Fuji X100V um, 28 millimeter lens, which, so if you put this wide angle on the 28 millimeter adapter on the Fuji camera, it ends up being just under 14 millimeters. So you get an ultra wide angle lens on the Fuji. I bought it thinking it was gonna be the super like kind of out of focus looking, just blurry, you know, just a cheap lens looking quality. But I think you'll be surprised the quality of this cheap $19 lens. Um, I, I shot a, basically a selfie with the, this ultra wide, the 28, and then I took the 28 off to do the standard 35. So. Here's a, here's a version of each focal length. I'll start it at the wide. I'll go back and forth just so you can see the difference. But it's not super scientific. Like I didn't put it on a tripod and like have it, you know, the same exact, I didn't move. Cause I was at a chain, yeah, it just, it's basically arm length away. You'll get the gist, you'll get the gist. So um, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button if you can. I'll make more videos like this. Kind of just showing a little bit of hacks, a little bit of things that you can do with the Fuji cameras and um, also trying to hit the streets as well and document that more often. But anyways, let's get into these examples. Thanks for watching. 